Hi, I'm Dr. Sai Lee, and this is my daughter, Celine, from Pacific Fermentation, located in Langley, British Columbia. The Egyptians, they, they knew that when you grind up the wheat in the stone and put some water in, they start rising. And that's how bread started by the Egyptians. These basically uh, serves the function of generating gas, and in turn, that will lift the, the bread up. Yeast is a very, very simple uh, organism, one cell. The size of the yeast cell is the same size as a red blood cell. Now, we, we look at this every day, every batch, because that's the only way you can see uh, whether your product is, is pure or not. And that is very, very important to us. A lot of people would say, so what, what do you use to grow, grow yeast? It's a very, very simple, just sugar cane molasses. A lot of the big companies are using uh, what they call the high fructose corn syrup. Everybody knows that these days is 99% of all the corn are genetically modified. And then when you do that, basically your sugar is coming a source from a genetically modified uh, material. You know, the molasses is, is a complete wholesome meal. It's got carbon source in there, it's got phosphorus source in there, it's got nitrogen source in there. Now, these uh, elements is the building block of your protein. On top of that, in the molasses itself, it has a full range of minerals that is vital to our health. There's also micronutrient vitamins in there. So molasses in itself is good enough for what we want to do to grow yeast in. This is our, the brain center of the whole thing. This is what everything happens. This is what I'm talking about, a pure culture, and at the top, that's the yeast cell itself. Yeast manufacturing is a, is a very, very simple process. You have a pure culture of yeast that is sitting on a slant, and then you take uh, that culture into a broth, you let that grow overnight in the incubator, and then from then on, you increase the volume, you pour that whole test tube into another broth, you let that grow overnight again, and then from then on, you can go to the production floor, and then you go through about two or three stages, and then you let that grow. And then after the growth, what you do, you use a separator and sling out the water, and then you end up with a product that is quite dark in color. So you wash that, and you end up with a heavy cream like this. I believe that it's really important for us as individuals, as humans living on this planet, to know what we are consuming, to know where it is coming from, because nowadays we're battling a lot of diseases, a lot of illnesses, and a lot of that is based on our environment and what we put into our own bodies. So I believe that we, we as humans have the right to know where our food comes from, and me as a personal individual would also like to know that. I think One Degree is the only company that I know of that can make things so transparent in the sense that you can find out ingredient by ingredient that you can actually go back to the source you feel extremely comfortable what you are buying and what you're going to consume that is fantastic